Well, it's been a hot one here in Tennessee today. Actual temperature right around 90, 91 degrees today. Uh, heat indexes mid to upper 90s. I've been in the house because I'm not supposed to be out in this heat. It's cooled off right now, though. It's cloudy, but I'm not going to spend too much time out here. But the wife ventured out into the grown-up turnip patch uh, up there in the garden. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but anyway, the old, old garden spots right down there. And amongst all that grass, there's some turnip greens. Uh, I've got a new patch planted uh, back up the bottom here. You can't see it from here, but anyway, she ventured out there late yesterday afternoon, and mom came and helped her a few minutes, and so did my brother, and they got enough greens out of that patch to carry my, to my sister's store for market. Well, this morning, the wife also went out there and got the bell peppers. Uh, I think she had 47 or 8 bell peppers. Uh, the big fist type. I mean, they're, they're big grocery store type peppers. And I've been promising my buddy Tool Monkey over in South Carolina that I'd give him one of my secrets to growing big bell peppers. Well, brother right there is it. It's called magnesium sulfate. Uh, supposedly the same chemical makeup as Epsom salt, but I don't know if I'd trust just grabbing a box of Epsom salt and putting a little dab under my peppers or not. I don't know. Uh, I use just exactly what you see right there. The brand name is High Yield and it's called Magnesium Sulfate. Uh, it's actually used for high geranium bushes and stuff to help control yellowing due to magnesium deficiencies, but and to encourage the blooms uh, but it works real good also under bell peppers and all I do is just where I set my bell pepper out I dig a hole there's a measuring spoon in there that measures out a teaspoon excuse me it's a tablespoon I just take a, tea, a heaping tablespoon and put it in the hole and mix it in with the dirt and set my pepper right down on top of it now, I've been gardening, uh, I'm 54 year old. I've been gardening since I was a kid. Uh, I've been selling produce at market for years, you know, off and on. One time I had a pretty good business doing that. Uh, but now I just more or less do it for fun and my garden and you know, what we don't put in the freezer or give to friends or family, you know, or can or what have you. I usually just sell the rest of my produce because, like I said, my sister does have a produce store. Uh, that's all she sells is produce. Well, she does sell some baked goods and some meats and stuff. But anyway, most of my excess produce goes to her store, and that's where those peppers went this morning. And. Oh, that's the guy that's looking at his horses there. Those are his horses over on the hill. He checks about three times a day on them horses, feeds them and what have you. Anyway, back to the bell peppers. Uh, that right there is one of the secrets to growing a big bell pepper. Uh, before I started using that product right there, it was just hit or miss. But since I've started using that, Magnesium sulfate, like I said, one heaping tablespoon under each plant. Eight, maybe nine out of ten of the peppers that come off of my pepper plants are huge. I mean, it's, it's a big difference than what it was before. Uh, before, let's just say that there were ten peppers on a plant. 10 actual bell peppers on a plant. 
three or four of those peppers might be big and the rest of them will be small and tiny. Well, not anymore. They're all big. I'm going to say at least nine out of ten of them are big. So, tool monkey, brother, right there is a solution for growing a, a big bell pepper. Magnesium sulfate. So, uh, oh yeah, this fertilizer that you guys see sitting right here. This is not where I normally store my fertilizer. I've got to get that back over there to the, to the other barn. Fertilize will do that to a bucket. So <laughs> I gotta get this stuff out of here. Uh, I forgot about having that. Man, I had just a little bit of ammonia nitrate left. Uh, yep, about like that right there. Just, you know, four or five pounds left. Still had it in the bag, just like that sitting in the bag. Had it sitting in that bucket. And had it back over in the corner behind where that John Deere is. And I'd forgotten about it. And I was back over there rambling around looking for something the other day. And come across it and found it. Yeah, I rent my bucket. So, I got to get that back, the fertilized back to where it needs to be. I just wanted to share this real quick, this magnesium sulfate, uh, that's one of the secrets to growing a big bell pepper. Alright guys, I'm going to get back in the house where it's cool. We'll see you.